But what was important is when the editor asked me, Mario, why is it that we do this on telephones? Why is it that we make people suffer through this? We put a headline there and then turn to the dogs. Read and read and read. And I started thinking about this. I am a man of a certain age. I know why we do this. And this is basically it. We were trained in journalism school to repeat the story. If there is a story in the news that is happening every day, Ebola, for example, now, every time we write a story, we have an obligation to do what journalism professors used to call the tight back paragraph. You begin to tell me the first case and the second case. In the at a glance journalism world, we are so informed that we already know a lot of this. So when I reach for my phone, I want to know the latest that happened with Ebola, not the entire encyclopedic history of Ebola from the beginning of time, which if we want to do is also there. So then we began to work with a notion of how can we create in the digital age a storytelling palette for the phone? What would it be like? Okay, so let's look at these segments. One of them will be who said it? We use as a case the, the uh, Malaysia Airlines claim that disappeared. For two months, every single day you had 10 updates on this. So what did we do? Basically, the idea was when you reach for the phone, you already know what it is. And if you don't know about the Malaysian story, too bad. If you've been under a rock and you don't know that a plane disappeared. So there's a label that says the mystery of the flight. For this particular segment is who said it? There are three quotes from the relatives. For the next one, there might be an update, two or three updates, but you don't have a headline. You don't have anything other than the mystery of the, of the missing plane. Bang, bang, bang. Or it could be photos. Or it could be your commentator is going to have in tomorrow's newspaper a piece saying they will never find this plane. But you have 20 lines about this. Or it could be a graphic. Or it could be numbers. And then it's just like a string of pearls, you know, one beat at a time. At the end of the day, if you want to put them together, you have a commentary, you have graphics, you have all of this. So we are beginning to create a, a, a storytelling palette of ideas for one particular platform and not for print.